The James Webb Space Telescope spotted a large object moving toward Earth. In a blink of cosmic time, an event of staggering energy unfolded, leaving scientists and space telescopes absolutely stunned. The interstellar object known as 3I Atlas roared into activity, its ignition captured by our orbiting observatories. The biggest uh, question is whether the reflection of sunlight is coming from a solid surface, in which case, as you pointed out, or maybe a dense cloud of dust. This surge of light, following what many are calling a massive impact in its journey, registered as the brightest ever witnessed by human instruments. It's a powerful reminder of the universe's raw, untamed power and the incredible phenomena hiding within its depths. This event promises to reshape our understanding of interstellar matter and the most luminous explosions in space, but the full story is still unfolding. When space dust turns to diamond fire. To put it mildly, this event sent ripples of excitement through the scientific community. Many people are crazy about uncovering the universe's biggest secrets, and 3i Atlas delivered on that desire with an astonishing display. Discovered by the Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, a NASA-funded project designed to spot near-Earth objects, this comet was initially a faint speck. However, its trajectory immediately signaled something extraordinary. Unlike comets bound by our sun's gravity, 3i Atlas zipped through space on a hyperbolic path, meaning it's just passing through, never to return. Its speed alone was mind-boggling, reaching up to 42 miles per second, or about 152,000 miles per hour, relative to the sun at its closest approach. This makes it the speediest interstellar visitor we've ever seen, a true cosmic speed demon. The most shocking fact is not just its speed or origin, but the sheer scale of the energy released. When 3i Atlas neared the sun, the solar radiation began heating the frozen gases and dust at its core, causing a process called sublimation. This isn't new for comets, you see, but not all things are what they seem. For 3i Atlas, this process led to an exceptionally bright flare-up, creating a massive halo, or coma, of gas and dust that stretched for thousands of miles. The telescopes observed this ignition with incredible detail, noting a rapid increase in brightness that dwarfed many ordinary comets. This sudden burst of luminosity coupled with its interstellar origin is why it's being compared to the brightest surge ever. It wasn't an impact in the traditional sense of two massive bodies colliding, but rather an internal release of energy on a scale that few comets ever achieve, a dramatic fiery awakening. The James Webb Space Telescope, with its incredible infrared capabilities, peered into the comet's icy heart, hoping to uncover the chemical fingerprints of its home star system. What it found was astonishing, a composition remarkably similar to comets from our own solar system. This unexpected similarity sparks a huge question. Does this mean cometary formation processes are universal across galaxies? The observations by Webb, alongside those from the Hubble Space Telescope and the Gemini South Telescope, have provided an unprecedented wealth of data. Hubble captured the sharpest images, showing intricate details of its dust plume and tail stretching across the cosmic canvas. These telescopes, positioned far above Earth's distorting atmosphere, offered a clear, unblinking view of this rare phenomenon. The significance of 3i Atlas extends beyond its dazzling display. It's offering scientists a rare chance to study pristine material from another star system, providing clues about exoplanetary environments and the building blocks of planets elsewhere. Imagine this little icy rock carries secrets from a star light years away and we're getting to examine them up close. This makes it a priceless sample, even if we can't physically touch it. Its presence reminds us that our solar system is not an isolated bubble, but a participant in a grand cosmic exchange with objects constantly traversing the immense distances between stars. The observations have allowed astronomers to estimate its nucleus size, potentially several miles wide, far larger than the first interstellar visitor, Oumuamua, which was more like a cosmic pebble. This scale difference alone contributed to its impressive brightness. The sheer excitement of witnessing such an event highlights the incredible advancements in our astronomical capabilities. The Atlas system, originally designed for planetary defense, stumbled upon this interstellar gem, 
proving that unexpected discoveries often come from broad-ranging surveys. Its detection on July 1, 2025, was a testament to the tireless work of astronomers who constantly scan the skies. The ongoing observations through September and its expected reappearance in December offer a unique window into the life cycle of comets from other star systems. But the story doesn't end with 3 I Atlas. The universe holds even grander, more violent surges of light, events that dwarf even this spectacular comet. What other shocking, super-bright cosmic events are telescopes capturing out there? Cosmic Gold Factories While 3 I Atlas provided a truly spectacular show, the phrase brightest surge ever often points to something far more violent and mind-bending, the collision of dead stars. These are events that truly challenge our imagination, unleashing energies beyond anything our sun could produce in its entire 10 billion year lifespan. We're talking about kilonovae and gamma ray bursts, the true cosmic showstoppers, often the result of neutron stars or black holes merging. You can see this everywhere in the headlines of astronomical discoveries. The thing nobody tells you is just how incredibly powerful these events are and how much they shape the universe. Neutron stars are the super-dense remnants of massive stars that have exploded as supernovae. Picture a star more massive than our sun, compressed into a sphere just 10 to 15 miles across, about the size of a city like Houston. A single teaspoon of neutron star material would weigh billions of tons. When two of these incredibly dense objects orbit each other, they slowly spiral inward, losing energy through gravitational waves, ripples in the fabric of space-time itself. This cosmic dance speeds up over millions of years, culminating in an inevitable cataclysmic merger. The merger itself is an event of unimaginable power. For just a few seconds, it produces a short gamma-ray burst, or SGRB, which is so luminous it can be seen across billions of light years. To give you some perspective, a single short gamma-ray burst can outshine an entire galaxy for a brief moment. This initial flash is followed by a kylonova, a longer-lasting glow that shines about 1,000 times brighter than a classical nova, which itself is a stellar explosion. This kylonova light is powered by the radioactive decay of exotic heavy elements forged in the intense heat and pressure of the merger. It's like a cosmic factory, churning out elements heavier than iron, including much of the gold and platinum found in the universe. This is a real wow factor, realizing that your jewelry might literally be stardust from such a violent collision. The first definitive observation of such a multi-messenger event, combining both gravitational waves and electromagnetic light, occurred on August 17, 2017. This event, known as GW170817, was a game-changer for astronomy. Two neutron stars collided approximately 140 million light-years away in the galaxy NGC 4993. The LIGO and Virgo gravitational wave detectors first felt the ripples in space-time, followed just two seconds later by a short gamma-ray burst detected by space telescopes. Then, in the days and weeks that followed, a kalanova was observed across the electromagnetic spectrum, from X-rays to radio waves, confirming theoretical predictions. The observations of GW170817 were a triumph of modern astrophysics. They not only confirmed that neutron star mergers produce short gamma-ray bursts and kilonanovae, but also provided direct evidence for the cosmic origin of heavy elements through what's called the R process, or rapid neutron capture process. Before this, it was a hypothesis. Now, it's a confirmed fact. This means that the very building blocks of some of the most precious materials on Earth were forged in the fiery embrace of colliding dead stars billions of years ago across unimaginable distances. Such events are extremely rare, happening perhaps only a few times per galaxy every million years. But their impact on cosmic evolution is profound. They seed the universe with the heavy elements necessary for planet formation and eventually for life as we know it. The brightness of these surges is not just a pretty light show, it's a signature of creation, of the universe constantly recycling and transforming matter. We are literally watching the universe grow up, one cataclysmic explosion at a time. 
The more telescopes we launch, the more we expand our ability to capture these fleeting, powerful moments. And as new instruments come online, we're seeing even more unusual variations of these bursts. But are these cosmic surges truly the only source of such brilliant light, or is there more to the story? The Mystery of Repeating Bursts The universe, in its boundless complexity, holds even more peculiar and dramatic phenomena that challenge our current understanding of these brightest surges. You see, while neutron star mergers account for many short gamma-ray bursts and colonovae, some observations defy easy categorization. What many overlooked is that not all gamma-ray bursts fit neatly into the short or long duration boxes, and some even repeat. This, to put it mildly, throws a wrench into our neat cosmic theories. Recently, astronomers detected an unusual, long-lasting gamma-ray explosion, GRB250702 b, that appeared not once, but several times over the course of a day. This baffled scientists because traditionally, gamma-ray bursts are catastrophic events that destroy their source. An object that produces such a burst shouldn't be able to repeat it. This is a critical detail. The initial detection by NASA's Fermi Gamma Ray Space Telescope showed three bursts over several hours. Later, other telescopes confirmed earlier detections, proving it was a repeating phenomenon. This discovery has opened up a whole new line of inquiry into what causes these extraordinary repeating surges. One possibility is a supermassive magnetar, a type of neutron star with an incredibly powerful magnetic field, trillions of times stronger than Earth's. These magnetars can unleash colossal flares of energy, potentially creating these repeating bursts. Imagine a cosmic lighthouse, but instead of light, it's blasting out high-energy gamma rays at irregular intervals. If a magnetar is indeed the cause, it would mean that some neutron stars, instead of immediately collapsing into black holes after a merger, might survive and become these energetic powerhouses, constantly dumping energy into their surroundings creating an extended and recurring surge of light. Another intriguing aspect of these powerful surges is their sheer, almost incomprehensible energy output. A typical gamma-ray burst can release as much energy in a few seconds as our sun will in its entire 10 billion year lifetime. That's a wow factor that truly puts the scale of cosmic events into perspective. These bursts originate billions of light years away a distance so vast that the light we see today began its journey when Earth was still forming. Yet despite these immense distances, our space telescopes are capable of capturing their fleeting signals, essentially allowing us to witness ancient cosmic dramas unfold. The ability of multiple telescopes across different wavelengths, X-ray, optical, infrared, and radio, to observe these events simultaneously is key. Each wavelength tells a different part of the story. The initial gamma-ray flash tells us about the immediate explosion, while the longer-lived afterglow in other wavelengths reveals details about the expanding fireball and its interaction with the surrounding interstellar gas. For repeating bursts like GRB250702 b, these multi-wavelength observations are crucial for unraveling the true nature of their mysterious progenitors. This interconnected network of space observatories forms a global nervous system, constantly vigilant for the universe's most extreme phenomena. The search for these brightest surges is fundamentally a quest to understand the most extreme environments in the universe, the birth of black holes, the fate of massive stars, and the creation of heavy elements. Each new observation, whether of an interstellar comet like 3 I Atlas or a repeating gamma-ray burst, adds another piece to the grand cosmic puzzle. It pushes the boundaries of physics and astrophysics, forcing scientists to rethink long-held models and embrace new, even more dramatic possibilities. What many overlooked is that these events are not just isolated incidents. They are crucial components of the universe's ongoing evolution, shaping everything we see around us. But what if these incredible bursts of light are more common than we realize and our methods of detection are still evolving? The next generation of telescopes. You might be wondering if all these mind-blowing events happen overnight or if we are missing a key detail about how frequently they occur. The thing nobody tells you is that despite our advanced space telescopes and gravitational wave detectors, the universe still holds countless secrets, many of them hidden by sheer distance, cosmic dust, or the limitations of our current technology. 
Our ability to capture these brightest surges is incredible, but we still have cosmic blind spots, vast stretches of space and time where dramatic events might be unfolding undetected. Consider the sheer enormity of space. A light year, the distance light travels in one year is about six trillion miles. Many of the gamma ray bursts in Kalanavi we detect originate hundreds of millions or even billions of light years away. This means we are observing events that happened long, long ago. What about events happening closer to home, but perhaps in directions obscured by the Milky Way's dusty arms, or simply too faint for our current instruments to catch? Many people are crazy about the idea of hidden cosmic phenomena, and the universe certainly provides ample opportunity for such mysteries. The current generation of space telescopes and ground-based observatories are like silent detectives, constantly scanning the sky. The Asteroid Terrestrial Impact Last Alert System, or ATLAS, which discovered 3i ATLAS, is primarily focused on objects closer to Earth, highlighting how even systems with specific missions can make unexpected, profound discoveries. But for truly faint or fleeting events, we rely on instruments designed for extreme sensitivity such as the James Webb Space Telescope for infrared light and specialized gamma ray detectors like Fermi and Swift. Our telescopes are witnesses to these incredible events, constantly refining our understanding of the cosmos. But does this constant drama mean life is a rare fluke or an inevitable outcome? Like and subscribe for more cosmic journeys.